Hi, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my craft room. I have a new color and chat video to share with you today, and I'm going to be using the new Happy Santa Clear Stamp Set from Pretty Pink Posh. I had a request in my Facebook group to do Santa because reds can be difficult. So these are the reds that I use from my Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers, and I'm going to zoom on in and get started on coloring. So for my reds, I'm going to be using my DRs, starting with 4 as my darkest, and then moving into 2 and 1 as my medium and lighter tone. I'll also color in the kind of fuzziness of my Santa's hat and coat and pants, as well as his beard, with brown grays, so BG2, BG1, and then I also use a blender on his beard. I'm going in with some lighter skin tone colors, but you know, please use your favorite color combination when it comes for skin tones. I've just recently purchased some Ohu markers, I don't know if I'm saying that right, in skin tones, and I'm kind of learning and playing with those because there is a little bit more of a variety in skin tone colors. So I'm thinking about doing a color and chat video maybe next month or the month after about different skin tones. The only thing is, is it won't be using my Spectrum Noir markers. It will be using my Ohu markers. So we'll see how that goes and if I decide to do that because I know um, most of my color and chat followers use Spectrum Noir markers. Okay, so I also colored in the red for my present at the same time. So I'm flipping back and forth between my two coloring guides. So that way I don't have to go back to the same color marker as I'm coloring today. So after I do the skin of Santa, I also have his gloves, which I decided to use a red brown for. So I'm using um, red brown three, two, and one to color those in, as well as the tree stump and the Santa sack of toys. And then for the boots and belt, I went with ice gray. So I use ice gray 10 and ice gray eight to color in those. And then I wanted my belt and ribbon of my gift to look kind of like a golden color. So I'm using GY3 and GY2 to color those in. For the second sheet, you can see quickly here, my gift follows the same colors as Santa for the red and gold, and the same colors as Santa for the sack and tree stump. And then I'm going to bring in my AGs for my little mini tree, which is AG5, 3, and 2 to color that in. And that kind of summarizes all of the colors I chose. You can see the red takes a little time because there's a lot of red on Santa and the present. So while I'm coloring, I will um, just kind of chat and catch up with you. And if I have anything important to say in my coloring, I'll just take a pause. But for now, just enjoy my coloring and listening to what's been going on. I can't believe that it's November already. I've been so busy with Girl Scouts. We just had our first, you know, sleepover, which we are um, brownies and I feel like we should have already had a sleepover by now but with COVID shutdown um, it really did put a damper on kind of progressing towards going camping and stuff obviously it was the safest and loving thing to do for our neighbors but um, it did you know put us back a little bit when it comes to progression for camping so we had our first sleepover it was a she and me event because a lot of our girls, this is very new to them. So it, everyone had a mom or grandma there with them. Um, and it was a lot of fun. We worked on some badges. We made s'mores. We uh, went out to the beach because where we were staying um, was right next to a beautiful beach um, in Southern California. So it was a lot of fun to do that, but it was also just a lot of work. We had our troop meeting on Thursday, we had a, um, we were doing a, I guess, you, well, we call it take action project, but for those who are not involved in Girl Scouts, don't really know what that means, but we were working with our community to, um, at a fall festival at my daughter's school. So we were just sharing, uh, some engineering, um, 
projects like catapults and bubble wands and it was a lot of fun but again a lot of work so it was like a meeting on Thursday a very busy fall event Friday and then a sleepover Saturday to Sunday so when I got home on Sunday I was planning on finishing up this video and uh, getting it out but I took a three-hour nap instead <laughs> so playing a little catch-up now that life is kind of coming back to normal but I will be visiting my sister this month, which I'm really excited for. Um, and I have design team work to get done. So um, it will be a little busy still, but at least uh, half of what I do outside of my nine to five, uh, which is Girl Scouts, um, gets a little break this week. So it was a lot of fun, but a lot of work. And I am definitely tired from hanging out with 10, um, eight year olds <laughs> or eight and nine year olds for, uh, four days, <laughs> but it was great. And I, I'm really excited for us to work on going camping in the springtime. Um, something I remember doing as a Brownie Girl Scout myself. So I'm really looking forward to doing that with my daughter and her troop. Uh, but let's see what else is going on in November. I, I can't believe Thanksgiving is just going to be a few weeks away and then all of a sudden it's going to be Christmas. So I am working on just my regular kind of content this month. Of course, there probably will be a lot of holiday things just because it's that time of the year to be really focusing on Christmas and winter holiday cards. Uh, but next month in December, I'm going to hopefully, if everything works out to plan, I'm going to be a little bit heavier on my content in the beginning of the month and do kind of a 12 days of Christmas um, featuring some of my favorite products. If you're looking for stocking stuffers, um, just highlighting some of my favorite things from my different uh, different companies that I love. Of course, scrapbook.com, um, Lawn Fawn, Heffy Doodle, Pretty Pink Posh, Kindred, The Sassy Club, the list goes on forever, right? But I am planning to feature something um, that I love, either a company or a product that uh, will be the first 12 days of December. Now, again, that's a lot of work for 12 days in a row. So um, that's my plan because I will be taking some time off at the end of December to spend time with my family. So I don't want to have to be overwhelmed with Christmas time uh, with getting content done. So it will be heavier in the beginning of December and then a little bit lighter uh, towards the end of December as I will be on vacation. But I'm hoping that will be fun for everyone, kind of show some of my favorite supplies and companies and uh, put together a little gift guide for kind of stocking stuff for ideas as we start the uh, December month and Christmas celebrations. So I am finishing up my Santa here and as you can see I'm pretty much doing the other uh, images at the same time because they use so many of the same colors. When I have a coloring guide I try not to do too many different colors so that way you can kind of um, color multiple images in with the same colors. That way it doesn't feel like you have to have a lot of different types of colors to uh, follow the, a particular video. And speaking of Christmas, I'd love to know, let me know in the comments, do you have like you already decorated for Christmas? I know it's, you know, the very beginning of November, but do you jump from, or I would say jump from Halloween right into Christmas? Are you a lingering of Halloween like I am? I still have Halloween decorations up. Um, I'm going to transition into fall decorations, which is just more pumpkins. Um, but let me know in the comments, are you more of a Halloween fall than Christmas decorator? Or do you just jump right into Christmas in November? Because, you know, it is a very joyful holiday to decorate for. Um, it's always in my tradition in my family growing up on my dad's side and something that I do with my daughter and my husband now is to decorate for Christmas the day after Thanksgiving or at least the weekend after Thanksgiving. Um, so we still have Halloween up, like I said, just because I've been so busy with Girl Scouts that I haven't had a chance to put it away. But my hope is to get it done this week and bring out my fall decorations, which, like I said, is just more pumpkins and owls and uh, things that, you know, could still be up for Halloween, but uh, definitely has more of a warm and cozy vibe than scary plants <laughs> and uh, bats everywhere kind of vibe. So I'm looking forward to 
having more of a pumpkin pie smell in the house because I have also a ton of fall candles. So, And then after Thanksgiving, we will do our family tradition of decorating for Christmas and baking cookies. And we usually watch our first Christmas movie of the season, which has been Elf most years, but uh, we'll see what we decide on this year. So these last few steps of coloring are completely optional and it's adding in just kind of little stippling dots everywhere. It's something that I like to do. Sometimes I don't do it, but I just wanted to show it as an extra step in my coloring. I just think it gives a little bit of fun texture and just a little bit more to the images than just a flat, well I guess not flat, but just solid colored image. And then finally, I'm bringing out my white gel pen to add in some highlights. And something that I'm doing that I don't normally do on my images is also adding a bunch of tiny white gel pen dots to the fuzzy parts of my um, Santa's hat and coat and pants. Just really trying to make it look fuzzy, like light is bouncing off different parts of the fuzz. So we have our darker tones from using those brown grays and are lighter tones of bringing in that white gel pen. Now, if you have any questions about anything that I colored today that you thought I maybe glossed over a little too quickly, uh, please just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to explain it better. I could even put in a little shorts video to kind of clarify anything if you need help. But mostly this video is just to show the color combinations and how I color them and then how also I add gel pen to my images. I hope that the Santa colors are useful for you for this holiday season and make sure to let me know down below or in my Facebook group any future coloring videos. I was really excited to do this one based on a request so please let me know what you would like to see in the future. Here is a card sample that I made using those adorable stamps. They are new from Pretty Pink Posh this season and I mix them with some of the older Christmas and holiday products so you can definitely still mix and match no matter what season you purchase your Christmas products from. Here I am sharing again how I'm storing these currently. I love to put them in an album so I need to look into that more but for now I store all of my coloring guides in my slimline envelope from scrapbook.com. This is a really pretty pink color that's exclusive so uh, definitely check it out. I'll have it linked down below with my supplies. Here is a close-up of my card sample and those adorable stamped-in images from Pretty Pink Posh. I hope this coloring video was useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll click like, and if you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. As always, you can find everything I use down below in the description box. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye!